Hello. Today we're going to remove and replace the charging handle on our CZ Bren 2 pattern rifle. This is same procedure for the Bren 2 pistols and we're also going to real quick cover just swapping the charging handle from the left side to the right side. It's part of the procedure so we'll kind of stop at that point. In order to remove the charging handle all we kind of need to do is remove the lower receiver and the rear trunnion so we can slide the bolt further back and get the charging handle to this little the <coughs> kind of the access notch in the upper receiver. To do that, of course, make sure the weapon's clear. With the hammer set back, meaning you pull the trigger, set the hammer but do not pull the trigger again. Um, you can put it on safe if you'd like. Go ahead and remove the front takedown pin. Set your upper or set the lower receiver to the side. Remove the takedown pin from your the rear trunnion or the stock adapter. <coughs> and to do that, push the pick, push the takedown pin through, and then depress the latch and pull the rear trunnion down and out of the upper receiver. Go ahead and set the stock and the rear trunnion aside. At this point, when we pull the charging handle. To the rear, it's going to bring the, the bolt and the recoil spring and rod out of the back of the upper receiver. And now we can get the charge, now the charging hand can travel all the way to the clearance pocket. So if your objective is to swap the charging handle from the left to the right side or right to left, you can go ahead and do that now. Just take the whole assembly out and reinstall and reassemble. So, for this video though, we're going to go ahead and install the HB Industries charging handle. So, let's go ahead and remove, again, let's just remove the, the charging handle. And we'll set the whole, kind of the whole upper receiver aside. And let's look at what we're going to try to accomplish here. So, with the HB Industries charging handle, two roll pins and a taper pin that's going to be used for installation along with the <coughs> component we call the finger catch of the charging handle itself. So pretty straightforward installation. There's just two roll pins in our charging handle finger catch that we're going to drive out and then obviously put the new finger catch on. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. So. A wood block might be handy. We kind of use this as our little armorer's block here. It's pretty modular, I guess you could say. Um, to remove the roll pins, we're going to need a three millimeter roll pin punch and a, an appropriately sized hammer. This is a four ounce hammer. Let's go ahead and drive our roll pins out. The factory finger catch is polymer, we can simply pull it off of our charging handle and at this point kind of get an idea of what the charging handle assembly is like. We're going to install our the HP Industries charging handle and there is a difference in fit. The factory charging handle being polymer has a square pocket, HP Industries is machined aluminum and we have a slightly rounded pocket so you'll notice when you install the, the main body of the charging handle that it's got more play than it did in the factory polymer part. And that's where our taper pin's gonna come into play. The taper pin, if you were to use calipers or kind of just look at it closely, you'll notice that one side is a larger diameter than the other side of the pin. So what we're gonna do is drop a small diameter into either the front or the back roll pin hole and let that align one of the two holes. And this is just going to make it easier for us to drive the roll pin through and be able to, I guess, successfully right, um, get alignment instead of chasing two holes around. So let's go ahead and start our roll pin and do the charging handle. And at about halfway through, once once the roll pin is starting to engage the 
the body of the charging handle, we can kind of remove our taper pin and let's drive this first roll pin all the way through. You, you can reuse the factory roll pins. If, if for some reason you lose one or if one of them comes uncoiled on you or if you have a difficult time with one of the roll pins, you can reuse, let's get them out real quick. You can reuse the factory roll pins. Um, don't have to, they're equal to the HBI supplied roll pins. So you can have an extra set, you can reuse them, completely up to you. So with the first roll pin installed, kind of maybe eyeball the second hole to try to get it lined up between the, the charging handle body and the finger catch and drive your second roll pin in. Roll pin punch to finish it. So with both roll pins installed, let's go ahead and reinstall charging handle into the upper receiver. I'm going to put away the, the factory roll pins as well as the, as the taper pin. Just kind of keep them safe with the factory charging handle. Let's go ahead and reinstall the charging handle, this time on the right side. So drop the assembly back into the what we call the charging handle shuttle um, inside of the upper receiver and kind of let it ride home by pushing on the recoil spring. Reinstall your rear treading in stock. You might need to use a tool, a punch or other to kind of compress the recoil spring slightly in order to get the In order to get the rear turning to fit, so kind of compress and push up on the rear turn in. You'll hear the latch click into place. Drive the pin through. The pin's going to keep the latch from coming out. Reinstall the lower receiver. Dovetail first. Front takedown pin. And check function. Verify that it's working and go ahead and have fun with your new charging handle. If you have any questions or any additional information, please don't hesitate to reach out to us, hministries.net, or on social media, Instagram, or you can always call us as well. Thank you very much for watching.